the top trade candidates for 2020. Chris, you have the trivia question that as always determines the first pick. Yep. And I continue to read stories and hear thoughts. And I'm going to lean towards what Ryan Clark said yesterday and absolutely positively no disrespect whatsoever. Hey, thanks for watching Numbskull News, and today we're talking about the Dallas Cowboys rumor mill. As you know, there's plenty of Dallas Cowboys bloggers, vloggers, internet people, YouTube people, and why not? It's America's team. Everyone loves the Cowboys, or hates them, either way. So today I'm going to cover the main rumors that have been floating out there. Of course, there's like a thousand of them. I'm just going to get with the uh, biggest rumors that are coming out. So let's start with the Dak Prescott rumors. Apparently, the Cowboys offered a five to six year deal. They seem to have met his money requirements and guaranteed money requirements. According to the rumors, which have been pretty substantiated, he wants a doesn't want a five year deal or a six year deal. He wants no more than a four year deal. He wants a shorter deal, which means he, his money counts more against the cap. I mean. Is there any more of a way this guy could be a gigantic pain in our collective asses? It's one thing if he's Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson, but he's not. He's not. I've defended, I have defended Dak Prescott because the media, to me, ruthlessly attacks this guy, and I think unfairly. But now, it's like he has no appreciation for that star on the helmet. Does not give a damn about it. That he doesn't care about winning. He doesn't care about the team, you know. And all these are cliches, I understand. At some point, when, when the team wants to give you five to six years and you're, you know, you're bitching about a contract, well, there you go. Oh, but that's too many years. At this point, I really wish Jerry would ship him, ship his ass somewhere else, somewhere that really sucks, somewhere like Miami, you know, maybe the Chargers. Somewhere where he'll, you know, understand the value of being a cowboy, where he'll learn that lesson. Because he's not going to learn it here. And, of course, there's rumors of him having a big party at his house and with 30 people there. You know, it's kind of a bad look with the whole virus thing. I don't care that much about it. You know, if he doesn't really care that much about his health, you know, the hell do I care? It, it just goes to show you that maybe Dak isn't as smart as everyone lets on. You know, he's not the uh, the good guy <laughs> that everyone seems to make him out to be. Maybe he's actually an asshole. Which brings me to my next rumor that's been floating around there is Cam Newton to the Cowboys as a backup for, da for Dak Prescott. I don't see that happening right now or really ever. Uh, he's going to want a little bit longer term deal. He's going to want to start. He's in his early 30s. I think he's, what is Cam, 30, 31, somewhere around there. And, of course, right now, uh, no one can really do a thorough physical on him, so no one's going to offer him big any kind of contract that he's going to want. So once the virus thing goes away and you can get closer to than six feet from the next person, <laughs> you know, once he can do a physical, teams will bring him in and, you know, looking to say, okay, if you're healthy, we want to give you three, four, five years. But that's not that's not going to happen right now, obviously. I mean, personally, when that time comes, if Dak's still being a pain in the ass, I'd much rather have Cam Newton. He's a better quarterback. Yeah, he's older. He's older. You won't have him as long. Cam's just better. When he's healthy, he is better than Dak Prescott. A lot better. He's got a bigger arm. He makes bigger plays. He's better with his legs. Sometimes it gets him in trouble. It gets him hurt. You know, we've seen it. I think in our system with McCarthy, I think Cam Newton would explode. But, you know, we'll never find that out more than likely. That rumor to me is, it's a fun thing to think about, but, you know, it's kind of like a 10-year-old asking for a $1,200 Apple computer for Christmas. It'd be nice. <laughs> It'd be nice if we were, you were born into that kind of family, but you're just not going to get it. All right, the next rumor, and much, much more plausible, is Jameis Winston to the Cowboys. This is a doable thing, because I don't think Jay's, uh, Winston is going to get a starting job. And I think the Cowboys would love to have him as a backup. 
I would love to have him as a backup. And truth be told, uh, I, you know, I know he threw th- 30 interceptions last year, but that team wasn't that good. Number one, number two, Bruce Arians is a nut job of an offensive guy, man. I mean, every quarterback he gets throws more interceptions than he ever has. Uh, just because that's that's what Bruce Arians wants to do. I mean, he didn't want to turn it over, turn the ball over, of course, but he, he wants to chunk that ball down the field. And with that comes a lot more risk. If Dak gets hurt or Dak refuses to play or whatever, and you have Jameis Winston, I would be comfortable comfortable with that, with the head coach that we have. Because if you remember, he got Brett Favre when Brett Favre was really sucking and leading the whole league in interceptions and all that stuff, just really looking like he needed to retire. Coach McCarthy got, what, one, two really good years out of Brett Favre. I mean, statistically speaking, two of some of his better years. I think he can cut those interceptions down by half at the, at least. So I wouldn't be afraid at all of Jameis Winston coming here and being a backup and, you know, who knows, maybe more than a backup. The biggest thing going around right now, of course, is uh, trading for Jamal Adams, safety, New York Jets. And uh, I've said it once, I'll say it again, the Jets don't want to get rid of him. They don't want to trade him. Now, I mean, before, I think it what was it, two twos, at two first-round picks for Jamal Adams last training camp. That's what the Jet, Jets were asking for the everything, sun, moon, and the stars for a safety. You know, the Cowboys, of course, wisely didn't do that. The Jets may still have a very high asking price, and that's why I don't think that's going to happen. And the Cowboys, fortunately, in the last 10 years plus, they've decided that they weren't going to just throw out a draft picks all over the place for some some damn player the absolute earliest you may get jamal adams is you know training camp maybe if the jets can't work out a deal but even then i don't know you know the jets may still want you know more than just a first round pick and i think that's all dallas is willing to give is a first round pick and that's it so really it may be more of a trade deadline kind of deal it, it, even if it happens then I mean, Dallas may say at the trade deadline, you know what, screw you. You know, our guys are playing well enough. We'll just wait till free agency and get them then. You get jack shit, and we'll keep our first-round pick. So it depends on how petulant the Jets want to be. And it's not the smartest organization. <laughs> it's really not. Which leads me to another draft rumor, and actually the draft rumor that has come up here recently, which is the Cowboys trading up possibly for an edge rusher, maybe a linebacker. Number one, they're not going to trade up for a linebacker. At 17, you can get a damn good linebacker. They're not going to trade up for that. Now, edge rusher or possibly a cornerback. That the, the Cowboys haven't traded up in the draft in forever. That's just not their thing, at least not in the first round, because it, it, costs, a, it costs a lot. I mean, there goes your second this year. And something next year, more than likely. And there, there's no reason to do that. You, you, your, your team is getting a little bit older every year. Your main guys, your core guys, you're going to have to start replacing those guys. And I don't see Dallas doing that. Of course, another rumor, and one I fully subscribe to, is them trading down in the draft. You know, everyone is always eyeballing, you know, somewhere in the mid 20s. I mean, who knows? I mean, it could be way further down than that. But I could see them trading down because I think all their main targets are going to be gone anyway. And I cover all that in a draft video I did about a week ago or so. And I think a lot of that still holds up. I think the Cowboys are going to trade down. And it's going to surprise you who they get. Because I, I, in the first round, I don't, I don't think they're going to go for the guys that you think they're going to go for. But I'm not going to go all into that BS anymore. If you want, if somehow you're still watching this video and you want to know that crap, you know what? You can subscribe. You can go to the proper video for my draft crap, and then you can find it there. And really, the only other rumor of note is Dallas bringing back Des Bryant, which I do think is very likely. If nothing else, he'll probably be in training camp. I'll almost guarantee he'll be in training camp, and he could very well get a spot. I mean, it won't be a starting spot. May not be the third guy, even the fourth guy, but I think he'll he'll get there. And 
you're talking about paying the guy what a million bucks maybe jerry loves dez so if he could bring him back i think he would and besides the guy dez seemed to have the biggest problem with is jason witten and he's gone and of course you got a new coaching staff and all that so and you're not depending on dez for anything which is good and really you know look i kind of miss dez you know can i see him throw up to x three or four times next year i wouldn't mind now there's other rumors going out there but they're all real far-fetched i'm not buying into any of them uh, none of them have any kind of real veracity and mainly what it is is someone on twitter making some shit up wanting to see something happen trying to get some followers trying to get some likes trying to get some views whatever it is and i'm not going to justify a bs rumor by covering it here i'll you know I'll let ESPN do that. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got on the rumors. Those are the only ones that I see that are worth talking about. Now I'll be back with some other crap later. Bye.